What is up, Rec Tech Nation? It is I, Jordan Johnson, your Rec Tech Twitter expert. I'm on Facebook today. Why? It's a special occasion, baby. We brought back Mix It Up Monday. So without further ado, let's throw it over for our Valentine's edition to Chef John and your favorite dirty girl, Erica. Do it, Facebook, and welcome to Mix It Up Monday. Yay! We're back, we're back, we're back. They can't keep two good people down. Exactly, exactly. Uh, I am super excited to be doing this today. I know you guys were expecting Backyard and Beyond, but no. We brought the gang back together. We got us back together. Can't keep us apart. You can't keep us apart for a very <laughs> special Valentine's edition. Yes, exactly. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Mix It Up Monday, this show is all about pairing lovely drinks with delicious food. And this week, all week long, we're getting prepared, we're getting y'all prepared for Valentine's Day. We're gonna make y'all's Valentine's Day the most special. So, without any further ado, what we're gonna be doing is uh, some steak crostini, right, I have for us. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be showing y'all a really quick and easy dessert as well. Erica, what are you gonna be doing? I'm going to be making three cocktails. We are going to be making one for the ladies yeah. to start off, a love martini. Then we'll be making another cocktail called a Cupid's Cocktail, okay. which is going to be for those who maybe like a sweet drink, but it's not too overbearing. Okay. Hey, uh, and we're back. <laughs> we're just too hot for the internet. That's what it is. We're just breaking it. We're That's breaking fine. the internet <laughs> right now. That's right. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, we also, I forgot to tell him that Jordan Johnson's on the ones of the two. So put all your comments, questions, and concerns in the comment section. He'll be reading those out. Now, Erica, you were talking about our drinks. So what are we doing? Yeah. First, we're doing a love martini for the ladies. Second, right. we are doing a Cupid's cocktail for both ladies and the men. Okay. And then last but not least, I can't forget about, you know, just an awesome Valentine's Day drink for my guys. Yeah. You know, especially who's, you know, chilling out, grilling for their beautiful date. Yeah. So that's what I have in store. Or maybe just grill out for themselves. Maybe they don't have a Valentine's maybe Day. Maybe they don't. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Hey. Treat like, yourself. Live your best life. awareness day. That's it's right. Fine. All right, Erica, why don't you go ahead and get us kicked off? Yeah. So first what I'm going to be making is a love martini. It's pretty easy, there's not too much to it, but I am right. going to be muddling some fresh fruit inside of it uh, to give it a little bit of a twist. So if you guys have seen my TikTok, check it out. There's, a, there's an easier way to make it, but we're gonna put some fresh fruit Tell them today. where to find you on that TikTok. Oh, at uh, Dirty Girl Bartender. D-U-R-T-Y-G-U-R-L Bartender. Hit us up on TikTok. We have so many cocktail videos that you can make under a minute. I love it. But for now, let's make some love martini. <laughs> so what I started off is I put some grenadine down into a plate and we're going to create this beautiful rim and it's going to be made with sprinkles because everybody knows that sprinkles are made with love mm -hmm. yes and this is perfect for any of those galentines or maybe any you know some of my ladies who are just going to be hanging out or if you know if uh if your loved one wants to make you a fancy cocktail i like how you're utilizing perfect. that plastic plate as your yeah work smarter not harder i like guys. that that's yeah. really smart so good tip perfect so I'm gonna be making two cocktails today, but I'm gonna be uh, just making it in one setting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some fresh strawberries and we're gonna set it inside of our shaker. I'm gonna say about a strawberry and a half. So we'll set that in there. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to be adding some peach liqueur. So we're going to be adding three fourths of an ounce right inside. Perfect. And I'm just gonna muddle that together really quick. 
perfect. And all those strawberries are going to be perfect. If you do you love strawberries? Oh, you know I do. I'm a berries fanatic. Do you <laughs> not remember the hashtag uh, yeah. Drake of Summer? <laughs> With every berry possible. That's right. Every berry possible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So next we're going to be using a uh, shout out to Savannah Vodka. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for sending my bottle. I'm literally almost through it. Uh, it's absolutely incredible. But if you don't have Savannah Vodka, y'all check out Second City Distillings Vodka. It's absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just love it so love, much. Love, love, love it. So you're going to be doing equal parts. What we're going to do is we're going to add um, an ounce and a half of our beautiful Savannah Vodka. Yes. Then we're going to be adding an ounce and a half of beautiful Malibu right in there. A little coconut rum. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like coconut, you can use just regular rum, but you're going to want something to add sweet into it. And then last but not least, we are going to be adding, whoop, we're going to use three ounces of cranberry juice right inside. You're such a pro with that. What is that, jigger? Is that what it's called? Yes. Yes, you're such a pro. Or a measuring tool, okay. you know, whichever you feel. <laughs> so then all we're going to do is we're just going to shake and strain. Good. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. I Lemon love squeezy. It. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. He is. He is, sadly. That's right. Aww, but that neutering process went really well. So don't worry about it. Sherpa's going to be back. Uh, he'll have a couple stitches, but he's going to be just fine. It's real quick. It's real quick. I feel just as lost as you guys. I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that one. But I hope you're I hope you're doing okay. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and strain right inside you guys. You're going to want to chill your glasses. We're outside, Ooh. so my glasses aren't as chilled as they I were. I like it. But y'all, that was so easy. It's absolutely delicious. John, are you ready to... I was born ready, you were Erica. Born ready? Oh, wait, I have a cute little... Oh my gosh. Okay, and then you can't forget a garnish. We've got our cute little heart strawberries. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'll give you the big one since oh, okay. there you go. Sweet. I love taking the big one. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers to you. Cheers, Cheers yes. <laughs> Mm. It's absolutely mm. delicious. Strawberry so hints. That vodka's really smooth. The sprinkles give it a little bit of crunch. Mm -hmm. I love a drink with texture. It is absolutely delicious. Thanks. That's a win. Good job, Cheers. girl. Thanks. All right, so now that we got that drink started, we're going to go ahead and bust into this tri-tip. Now, shout out to our uh, local butcher. We, uh, I went there and uh, got this delicious looking tri-tip. I've already gone ahead and cleaned all the silver skin off of it. It looks absolutely delicious. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with a little bit of oil. I'm just using uh, regular canola oil. You can use whatever you like. Olive oil will be fine. We're just using it as a binder, right? Now this is super, super simple. I'm going to be putting this on the bullseye. I've got it crunk up to riot mode, crunk, crunk. and I'm going to be using those Kingsford Classic pellets. All right, so we got the oil on there. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with some of that often imitated, never duplicated Ben's heifer dust. Guys, if you haven't gone to Rectech.com and checked out our sauce and spice bundle, I don't know what you're doing with your life. You need to treat yourself. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and put an ample amount on here. We, we sure enough are, Jordan. And Jordan Johnson, don't you have some awesome Valentine's Day facts that you've, you've, uh, that you've incorporated into the show? I, I sure do, John. You've got them over there at your desk, however. <laughs> well, why don't you go and go ahead you and start reading mine? those off <laughs> while I finish this delicious tri-tip. All right. So normally I would let this just sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and really let all this seasoning adhere uh, it's going to start to soak into that meat. That's what you really want. But we're going to go ahead and throw this on. We're going to act like it's been 15 minutes. We're going to go ahead and throw this on the bullseye. I have it set to riot mode. I'm burning those Kingsford Classic pellets, a perfect blend of hickory, oak, and cherry. Look at that. That's what you want to hear, that nice sizzle. And we're going to be rolling this. We're going to get about four to five minutes aside. We're going to roll this on over. Perfect. John, I got those... Uh Valentine's Day facts. Yeah, right? hit us with it, Jordan. <laughs> so, uh, Valentine's Day celebrates two Christian saints. That's right. The Valentine of Rome and Valentine of Turney, right? 190 million cards are sent each year, not including cards given in schools. Wow. And $18.2 billion are going to be spent on Valentine's Day. Wow. Uh, that was the factoid that's from 2017, so it's only expected to go up. That's a lot of money for Valentine's Day, Erica. That's crazy. Now, you were telling me something interesting about cards, though. Did you yes, say something about yes. that? Look, if you are one of those people that maybe you just don't have, you know, this has been a hard year for everybody, and you don't have a lot of money to spend, but you want to spread the love, 
You guys, I saw this beautiful thing online that if you go to Jude's, uh, what is it, judeshospital.com, Jude's Hospital. yeah, that's right. you can send a free Valentine's Day card to any kids in need. Oh, that's really cool. So, you know, if you want to spread some love, let's spread, you know, everybody needs it, especially yeah. this year, you know, with not being able to be with some, you know, some people still aren't that's with right. family. Send a Valentine's Day card, you that's know, right. take some time to show love and, and well wishes. And we're all about the love. Yeah. We're all about the love. Okay, so we've got the tri-tip on. I've got it on riot mode. Uh, we're going to turn that thing about every four to five minutes and bring it up to about 135 degrees. We're going to pull it off and let it rest. All right, you ready for the next string? Yes, but before I uh, we do this, John, I feel like I've heard this recipe before. We have, actually. This Well, for those of I just wanted to do a little throwback. <laughs> I wanted to do a throwback. For, so for those of you who remember, our yeah. actually our first show ever for Mix It Up Monday, this was the dish that I did. So, you know, was, I'd like to go full circle. And it's absolutely delicious. It, is absolutely, that you did it. it and, is absolutely delicious. But I do get to say that this is a new spin because we weren't using Kingsford we, pellets. We definitely weren't. And those Kingsford pellets are going to make all the difference when it comes I'm to excited. this tri-tip. Yeah, Ooh, you should be. I'm so excited. All right. So go, you want to go ahead and start your next drink? Yeah, sure. Okay, this excellent. one's super easy. This is going to be for all of you who maybe like the botanical feel. If you like gin, this is your baby right Ooh, here. Okay. And I know that we're hoping to see, you know, spring pretty soon because, uh, you know, some of those groundhogs saw winter, but we're yeah. Yeah, what does those. he know? Yeah, what, yeah, does, what he does, know? does he know, right? Stupid groundhog. So we're going with George's groundhog, and we're ready for spring. So <laughs> I'm going to make you a spring cocktail that maybe if you're sitting outside while your loved one's grilling, that you can sip on this. So we're going to be using some gin today. You're going to want to be using a botanical gin. Today we're using Ford's gin. Shout out. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, and we are going to be using two ounces. And this one's really easy because all you're going to do is pour directly into your glass. Now, Erica, what's the difference be between botanical gin and just regular gin? Um, it really depends on, I guess, what it's like made with. So like juniper, like most gins are made with juniper. Okay. Um, which is going to be that strong gin flavor that you're used to. Right. Uh, so if it, it might just be, you know, made with some other type of botanical. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Botanical. I Love like it. So okay. juniper lends itself to that piney flavor. Yes. yes. Exactly. See? It. Well, okay, we're learning. We're, we're learning. It's educational. It's an educational show. Oh, I love it. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we are going to be adding uh, just three fourths of an ounce of our elder flower, which is perfect. Okay. All right. And then last but not least, we're going to be adding some Dirty Girl in there. And of course, you can't forget Dirty Girl. You guys, if you have never checked out of our product, our products, right. go to ggmixers.com. Check out. We have an amazing array of products for your brunch, your lunch, and your dinner. Yeah. And if you guys haven't seen on Facebook, we came out with a brand new product that we'll be talking about a little later in the show. But you guys check it out, and there's yeah. a chance to be able to enter into our giveaway to get your hands on it. And Dirty Girl's not just for drinking. Uh, no. I love to use their uh, Bloody Mary mix for uh, all kinds of stuff. I make uh, soups out of it. We've done pasta sauces. Mm -hmm. uh, I've marinated chicken fingers in it. We've done, I mean, you're only limited by your imagination when it comes to this amazing product. Go check them out wherever cocktail mixers are sold. And if you can't find it, just ask for them. They're trying to deny y'all the good stuff. Yeah. Jordan Johnson, you got a question? Yeah, speaking of Dirty Girl teaming up with Rectech, uh, Valerie Carmony. <gasps> Valerie. Hi. Yes. She wants to know, can we make this a monthly segment, please? Well, Valerie, since you asked, we will. We'll start making this a monthly Just segment. Just for you. Just for you. <laughs> Once a month, Valerie, so we're going to be coming to you. In place of Backyard and Beyond, yeah. we'll do a, a mix it up. That's Once right. A Once a month. And we're not going to tell you. So you're going to have to subscribe. Guys, mm -hmm. make sure you're following RecTech on all social media because you never know when we're going to go live. I love it. And you never know what we're going to be giving away and the awesome content we're bringing you guys for sure. And we bring you awesome content all week long. Damn right. All right, Eric, I'm sorry. No. I'm just rambling. Oh, no, I love it. So we added one ounce of Dirty Girl in each, and then we topped it with some tonic. Yes. And I realized that I put a little extra gin in there. Oh, uh, yeah. So it's going to be it's strong, okay. but it's going to be delicious. Hey, I'm like Snoop. Gin is okay by me. <laughs> as long as there's some juice. That's right. I That's like right. it. I like it. We're going to put some flowers in there. I did rinse them. Don't come for me. But they're so pretty. Why they not? They are pretty, yeah. Look at that. And edible. And oh, edible. Oh, look at you. Cheers. Cheers. You. I love you too. Man, that is an absolutely beautiful cocktail. Mm. What are we tasting? Uh, it is the Cupid's cocktail. Wow. All right. So, so good. you get the gin. Uh, what is the what's the berry? I mean, uh, that they put in gin. What is the berry? They put in there juniper. juniper. You get the juniper <laughs> taste. You get the citrus taste in there. You have that lime. It is absolutely delicious. Thank you. You kill it Thanks. every time, Cheers. guys. You got to get yourself a, a personal dirty girl and make your drinks for you. It makes yeah. all the difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So. I have a baguette, guys. You know about baguettes. They're French bread, long bread like this. 
but you could use whatever bread you want for crostini. So I find that the baguette does the best. So what we're gonna do is, we just slice them up into these little rounds, right? Super, super easy. We're gonna put them onto our sheet pan, right? Now this is where you could use whatever oil you want. Olive oil I would suggest, it would be delicious. We're gonna hit them with a little bit of oil. Don't forget folks, as John oils those crostinis, we have a giveaway winner to announce and we'll be giving away something uh, a little special That's later right. on. That's right, All right, now we're gonna go ahead and season it with that Ben's heifer dust. Mm. Now I don't know where you get your crostinis from, but mine don't come pre-seasoned. Right, and then I have that RT700 set at 400 degrees. We're gonna toast this bread right on off. We're just gonna slide it right in there and shut the lid. We're burning those Kingsford Classic pellets, that perfect blend of hickory, oak, and cherry. It smells mm, so mm, good. Mm, mm, it does, mm. that it does. So good. All right, let's go on over to the bullseye. We're gonna go ahead and roll this tri-tip. Oh, look at that. Get on in there, that country. incredible. Woo. Right, it's looking awesome. So I'm just gonna roll it to that next side. We're gonna give it a couple more minutes and we're gonna keep rolling it until it's all the way cooked. But that looks absolutely delicious. And it's a good thing, John, because uh, I've heard that you know a thing or two about rolling. Uh, you, I, you wouldn't lie to me, Jordan, that's the truth. You only <laughs> lie for me. I love it, oh, I love it. All right, <laughs> let me clean up my mess. Yeah, you're so messy. Yeah, all right, so let me talk about some of these other ingredients that I have going on with this. So once that uh, Crestini's toast to perfection. We're gonna pull them off. I'm gonna spread a little bit of pesto on there. So I have traditional green pesto, and this is a tomato pesto. Ooh. Now, if you're like, Chef John, what's a tomato pesto? It's just tomatoes that they've uh, cooked down, ground them up uh, with pine nuts, add a little bit of olive oil to it, and then they blend it all together. That sounds so good. So good. And then we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of shaved Parmesan. That's mm. right. Jordan, will you grab that out of the cooler for me? I sure will. Um, did you have another drink today? No, you made two drinks already. I did. This all right, is, so this is all me. Yeah, I'm this in is it. all you. I'm I've in got it. one right. left. We'll wait till the end. So I wanted to show you guys something really cool to do, too. I wanted to do something sweet, right? So I already went ahead and made some chocolate chip cookies all. Now, whatever you want to do, make your chocolate chip cookies from scratch. Go ahead and buy the chocolate chip cookies that you go ahead and just cook off. Keebler does a really good job with their <laughs> cookies. But get the cookies, right? So I cook these off on the RT uh, 700, 365 degrees, 40, uh, about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, let them cool down. And so what we're going to do now is, let me get a nice glove. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I've got some delicious ice cream. Ooh. Yay. And we're going to make some ice cream sandwiches. And if you like the idea of John cooking a little something sweet for you, yeah. be sure to tune in Thursday nights at 11 p.m. on Instagram for That's Late right. Night Munchies. That's right. Often imitated, never duplicated. Late Night Munchies. All right. So what we're going to do is, if you guys have never made ice cream sandwiches, I'm about to show you guys something. I've never made one. What? I, I promise. Sweet never. Lord. Okay. Never. So we're really just kind of trying to get the ice cream all the same level, right? You want the same thickness all the way through. And then we're just going to take this and we're going to top it. Now, if you wanted to take this over the top, and I didn't have any chocolate chips, so this is why I don't, I'm not doing it. You're going to take some chocolate chips. You're going to add a little bit of heavy cream to it. I would say about eight ounces of chocolate chips, two ounces of heavy cream. You're going to set it on top of your RT700 or your RT590. You're going to let, or your RT340. You're going to let that chocolate and cream melt. You're going to stir it together, and then you're going to have some dipping chocolate. So what I would do is I would take this and dip it straight into the chocolate. Oh, oh boy. Man, that's a game. I would have done that, but I didn't have any chocolate, guys. Ooh. I thought I did and I didn't. So we're gonna make a couple of these real quick. Do you want some sprinkles to like oh, roll around yeah, on the side? Oh yeah, let's do some sprinkles. That's perfect. I was gonna say, it'll go with Touch. our theme. Look at there that. you go. You don't that's need dipping chocolate. That's what I'm talking chocolate. about. We got Look at this. you coming through in a pinch. I know, look at but this. But yeah, oh you're gosh. only limited by your imagination. It'd be great with white chocolate. You could do it with dark chocolate. Um, Really anything. Marshmallow would be really good too. I've seen that. <gasps> I love it. That and looks, look at them batch your martini. That's so that's perfect. Look at that. That worked out so There's no so better way to show nice. love than chocolate and martinis. Let's be serious. Yeah, ice cream guys. sandwich is the way to go. I, <laughs> I it's gotta, good that we're doing this on a, a hot, uh, warmer winter's day because the ice yeah. cream's kind of melted a little. It's easy to spread. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's working out perfect, Jordan Johnson. And you said it. It is a beautiful day here at the worldwide headquarters for Rec Tech. It's about, I don't know, 70 degrees out here. I got a little sweat <laughs> up yeah. on me. It's been a minute since I've been sweating outside, and I am happy. <laughs> 
to do it. But guys, put in the comment section where you're watching from. I would love to know. All right, so that's one of them right there. Ice cream sandwich, so, so easy, right? I'm so excited. You should be, it's so delicious. All right, I'm gonna come back over here. We're gonna roll this one more time. Coming over to the bullseye. Got it set at riot mode, burning those Kingsford Classic pellets. Look at that awesome oh, char right man. there. Doesn't that look wonderful? Come on, you guys. Are y'all not entertained? All right, so we got about four more minutes on that, and it is going to be absolutely delicious. But I didn't want to make you guys wait. You guys know I already have one done for y'all. So once the, once the tri-tip comes off the bullseye, you want to let it rest for the crustinis, right? You don't want to serve it super, super hot. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. The so suspense have, was killing us. I know. I had one already done for y'all. Look how wonderful this what looks. What else do you have under oh, there? Oh, I got all kinds of stuff. Don't be say, looking. Lady. I got all kinds of stuff under there. I'm like Mary Poppins <laughs> under that table, girl. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and slice it against the grain. Just nice, thin slices. And that's important with this cut, correct? It so is, Jordan. You're such, such a great call. <laughs> Man, this is looking <laughs> delicious. You also want to make sure that it's super thin because the worst thing is trying to bite through a piece of steak that's just way too big. But we cooked this thing to perfection. It looks incredible. Doesn't it look per awesome? No, All right. and it smells even better. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these toast points off. Looking so fab. I could have toasted up a little bit more, but it'll be all right. Does that look good, you guys? Man, smash that share button, guys. Yeah. This dish is looking incredible. Let's smash that. Before we do anything else, let me dab real quick. Dab and let's you. smash that share button. Three, two, one, smash, smash it. it. That's our new thing we do. Okay, I've been <laughs> gone too long. I did. <laughs> Next time. All right, so I'm going to take some of that classic pesto, that basil pesto. I'm going to take a little bit. We're going to spread it on that toast point, right? We'll do a couple like this, and then we'll take that delicious tomato. Man, there is no need to go to Italy. You can do this in your backyard. You sure enough can. You sure enough can. Looking good, we'll do one more. Jordan Johnson, we got any awesome questions out there? They're loving it, man. They are so happy to have you guys back for Mix It Up Monday. Oh, they that think is the what dish I'm talking is fantastic. About. Happy to see Erica again. I do, as you build those, John, I do have a question for you. How did, and this goes for you too, Erica, how did you all spend the big game last night? Erica, you go ahead and start. Well, I spent the game at a friend's house, which was a lot of fun, um, and we were sipping on a very special cocktail. Uh, if you guys have definitely checked us out on Facebook, you uh, learned that Dirty Girl has come up with an amazing new product that's come out. It's Augusta's first canned cocktail. If mm -hmm. you haven't, it is our beautiful Dirty Girl Transfusion. We have partnered with Second City to be able to create the perfect cocktail in a can, which you've got a little one right here. I used it to put my hearts in it because I love it. It's delicious. It's delicious. And beautiful. So I spent my night watching the game and sipping on some transfusions, and uh, it was absolutely incredible. Nice, that sounds awesome. So uh, actually, I got a call yesterday about, uh, I don't know, it was probably 5 o'clock. I just left the gym, and it was <laughs> our dirty girl, Erica. And she was like, <laughs> Chef John, what did you do? And I was like, I just left the gym, girl. What's up with you? She was like, I need to ask you a big favor. No, it was like anything Aww. for you, Erica. What do you need? She's like, I need you to come over to Home Depot in North Augusta and help me pick up some boards and stuff I'm doing some home decorate I was like okay cool so I went and helped her <laughs> pick that stuff up when I got to her house is a long story but that's the point I got to her house helped her unload it and her house smelled so delicious oh. I was like what is that smell it smelled like ham greens potatoes tomatoes I mean oh you, you name, name it. it it smelled good and she was like I'm making 15 bean soup and um, I'm making a ham and I was like oh my gosh it inspired me so while I was watching the game Jordan I was making 15 bean soup nice. that's what I did last night all because of me all because, heard that. Of, all because of me that's right all because, all because of I don't have a truck but that's why you saw Tom <laughs> I was happy to help the muscles of the truck that's it you need a friend all you need to do is get yeah. some muscles in a truck or and you will be John. you'll be in there all right so we're gonna top these with a little bit of parm cheese shaved parm right all right, Erica, I'm going to give you one of these. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, mm. I'm going to take one. Oh, my. All right, cheers, cheers to you. Cheers, America. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, that's incredible. Mm. How is it? It smacks is what it does. It's smacking. It's absolutely delicious. So you get a little bit of salty from the Parmesan. Mm-hmm. The tri-tip is seasoned to perfection with that Ben's heifer dust. 
that the, pesto comes, I mean, through amazingly. Mm -hmm. And the bread is nice and soft and it absorbs all that deliciousness that's seeping through. Mm. That's a win right there. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. This is incredible. Well, before that ice cream melts, why don't you hit it with a little dessert? Yeah, let's go ahead. Oh. You want to hit him with some dessert? <laughs> okay. <laughs> What? what was that? He still had a mouthful of crystal. Oh I did. Sorry. I'm I jumped sorry. the gun. I got excited. Oh my gosh. Well, before we do this, do we want to make, can we have one more cocktail? Did we have a black president? Sure enough, we can have one more cocktail. Let's do oh, it. Great. I'm going to set this down. Can all I right, set here, this yeah, down? Set like, it right, right there. Yeah, right set there? it right there. Okay. You're good. You're good. So now that I have stuff all in my teeth, pesto, you Let guys. Let me see. You look beautiful. Oh. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, so. This is for my gentlemen. Okay, I know that you guys, you know, not everybody's a martini drinker. Mm -hmm. You're looking for some elderflower in your life. So I <laughs> figure we're going to take it straight to the grill and we're going to make it easy. We're going to drink some beer. Yeah. Ooh. This is more my style. I'm more, what can I pull out of the fridge? Yeah. Get something going and uh, enjoy. So we're going to be adding a little Valentine's Day spin on this. Oh my gosh. I love it. Get it, girl. Do you see those strong muscles? Yeah, I did those see those mine. muscles. Yeah. Muscles. So we're going to be taking a, a Corona, preferably a Corona. That's what I normally okay. drink. And we're going to be adding just a splash of Dirty Girl. So you don't need your lime. If you have lime, that's okay. But it's unexcusable because you should have Dirty Girl in your fridge, ready to make any cocktails at any point. Uh, but we're going to be adding just a splash for that beautiful lime flavor right in there. And then, John, I am going to need your help. Okay, I got for you. Something. What do you need? I don't have big thumbs, so I'm going to need your thumbs. <laughs> I got big brown thumbs. So next, what you're going to yeah. do is you're going to be adding some uh, grenadine into your Corona. So you're just going to fill it right to the top. It's going to make it a little sweet. You can put it, you know, accordingly how you would like, but we're going to fill this up because I like to exaggerate right on top look at that you know a lot of ladies don't like beer but i think this could change the minds I'm of telling a few you right, All right now and then will you do me a favor <laughs> okay so put my big brown thumbs over the top and can you do it just don't <laughs> spill it over me <laughs> and you just want it there you go Yay! <laughs> That's oh there's pressure building up there's pressure building up there's pressure building up erica uh-oh uh -oh. okay <laughs> Cheers to you. Cheers. Love you. Love you. We mm. enjoy Coronas. <laughs> what you think? Wow. That's it's really not, not that bad. It's not bad at all. I thought it was going to be disgusting. What? I really did. I'm not going to no. lie to you. I thought it was going to be absolutely horrible, but that's it's really good. not bad. It has the, it keeps the flavor of the Corona mm -hmm. really good. And then just adds a little bit of sweetness to it. It's, it's honestly, because it's a raspberry liqueur. You're like having like a raspberry Corona. It's absolutely delicious. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to this you. This might be the first time America. John's enjoyed Corona in over a year. I'm telling you right now, that was absolutely delicious. Well, guys, I want to make sure that you stay tuned all week long because we're bringing you guys amazing content all week long tomorrow. Chef Greg's going to be going live at 12 o'clock for lunch break. That's going to be kicking off on Rectech's Facebook page. And then Wednesday, the ladies of Barbecue. Oh, wait. I'm sorry, Jordan Johnson. I forgot. Yep. I totally forgot. Yep. Tuesday tweets, Tuesday tweets, Tuesday Aww. tweets, people. <laughs> if you haven't tuned in, you need to tune in 4 o'clock Tuesday. And, and then on Wednesday, the ladies of Barbecue are going live at 12 o'clock. They're going to be doing something fabulous for Valentine's Day. Exactly. And then at 5 o'clock, after hours, me, Chef Greg, and Jody, we're going live. We're drinking some beers. The building's starting to close down. It's a really good time. That's at 5 o'clock on Rectech's Facebook page. And then Thursday, probably our busiest day of content. We're coming to you live at 12 o'clock on YouTube, Rectech's YouTube channel for lunch break. That's going to be uh, Jody is going to be coming back doing something super fabulous for Valentine's Day. And then Thursday at 4 o'clock, we do Product Spotlight. And that's a chance for you guys to see products that y'all have asked more to see about. So we Deep go in depth. depth. That's right. That's probably our most popular show. That's at 4 o'clock on Rectech's Facebook page. And then close it out Thursday, 11 o'clock, Rectech's Instagram page, Late Night Munchies with your boy, Chef John. And then we're closing out Valentine's Day week, the crescendo. Fun day Friday, 12 o'clock on Rectech's Facebook page. We're spinning that wheel of Rectech. We're giving away prizes. And we're just wrapping the whole week up. Well, speaking of giving away some prizes, John. Yeah. Is it about that time? Yes. Let's do that Ooh thing, Jordan. Wee! Okay, so last week, we asked you guys, all you had to do was share this video in hashtag Rectech Lifestyle to enter to win. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty sure that's what you all had to do to enter to win. I'm sorry. That, yep. Just, I'm just like, that it's not like we're trying to do a show here. <laughs> right, it's okay. America's working. You know, America doesn't stop for the shows. You guys get it. Shout out to all of our sanitation workers out there. Y'all do an exceptional job. 
probably under under most underappreciated job yeah. out there. One of them, yeah. gotta be. I, I love you guys. Thank you so much for picking up the trash. So back to it though. So all you have to do is share the video and hashtag Rectech Lifestyle to enter to win a rub and sauce bundle. Wow. That's right. And the winner is <laughs> Chris Moore. Woo! Congratulations, Yay! Chris. Congratulations. Yes, Chris, all nice. you're going to need to do is hit us up on our Facebook DMs. We'll verify that it is you, and we will get that prize package out to you ASAP. I, I love giving it. stuff away. It's just so much fun. Um, Erica, do you want to you want to get do a giveaway? Uh, I would love to do a giveaway, but before we do this giveaway, I do want to let you know that if you are following Dirty Girl on Facebook, like I said, we had a new product come out, and we are hosting a huge giveaway yeah. for you to be one of the first people to get your hands on that product. So check out our Facebook page; it's pinned at the top of the video. All you have to do is like, share, and since uh, the four, you know, our product comes in a four pack, yeah. you need to tag three of your favorite drinking buddies to share it with. So easy, so, so easy. easy, and you know, three people that drink, right? Yeah, that's right, and we know you probably know a million people that love to eat delicious food so let's share this video three two one smash it smash it you'll get it smash <laughs> it you're gonna get it you're gonna get it you're gonna get it you're gonna get it all right but so let's do a giveaway erica what do they need to do and what do you want to give away well let's see i would love since it's you know, we haven't had a mix it up Monday in a while. No, we have not. I feel like we should give away a full line of Dirty Girl. Ooh. Ooh. Why, right? Why not? And so is this a full line right it. here of Dirty Girl? This is our full line right here. Dirty Girl consists of three types of Bloody Mary mixes as well as um, a sour slash margarita mix. Yes. And the only time it's naturally all juice on the market. That's what I am all talking right. about. So what do they need to do? So all you need to do is like and share this video. Yeah. And then... Yeah, hashtag something in the comment section. Yeah, hashtag... DG Transfusion. Oh, That's what I want. DG nice. Transfusion. DG Transfusion. I want to get that hashtag started, and that way people can know about our new product. That's what I am talking about. Yeah. DG Transfusion, guys, and you enter to uh, for a Dirty Girl prize package. Yeah. All their all of their exclusive products. That's right. All right. Well, what else we got going on, George Johnson? You got any other questions out there? Hey, man, that's going to do it for us today. I'm just glad that we're back. I'm yeah. so happy to be back. And guys, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Erica, do you have anything for the people? I don't. I love you, and I hope that you have an amazing Valentine's Day. That's right. That's yeah. right. And from everybody here at the Worldwide Headquarters, we want to wish you and all of yours the happiest of Valentine's Day. And guys, remember, if you ever need us or you never need me, all you got to do is hit me up at chefjohn at rectech.com. I love getting emails from you. There are no stupid questions, only stupid answers. What's your email address, Erica? How can they find you? You can find me. <laughs> you can find me at dgmixers.com or email me at erica at dgmixers.com if you have any cocktail questions or needs. That's right. And guys, make sure you're following our Keller Parts, uh, Chef Greg Muller on all his show, social media and barbecue dad, Jody Flanagan. Make sure you're following him as well. But like I always say, guys, take care of one another, listen to one another, and never forget, quality of food is quality of life. We'll see you at, at the Rec Tech. Tech. Do, do, do. Thanks for tuning in, do, everybody. Do, do. Mark do, McBride, do, what's do. up, my man? Brian Nutt, Rec howdy Tech doody. Lifestyle. Brandon Williams said it. In. And come get Erica's it. Erica's back, y'all. When the sun starts <laughs> going down. Up. We'll see you tomorrow.